Let's visit... Uh, we don't visit the surgeon. Do we need to visit the surgeon? We don't really. We're barely injured. So let's check the notice board. Another town, another notice board. Only one poster here. Abraham Burns. Never heard of him. Wanted. Dead or alive. For arsons and murders. Abraham Burns. At least this one promises a decent reward. Hmm. Poster says this guy was chased down to the devil's den. It's a complex of cave systems nearby. No one in their right mind would chase him that way. Luckily, we're not exactly in our right minds, are we? Let's go look for him. Let's do that. Uh, but I might as well just visit Solomon Delir's office at the moment. Solomon's office was located in an old orangery. That is the first time I see that word. Near the town of San Argent. It must have been beautiful back in the day. Now it was dark, cluttered, and it smelled of naphtaline. But just like its current owner. These are the people, Solomon. Let me tell you, I've seen what they're capable of. If there's anyone who has a chance of stopping Mammon, it's them. Solomon Delir was old, pale, and seemed very frail. He was more like a ghost than a man. He welcomed us in his makeshift workshop. We saw a few more, quote, Solomon siphons, unquote, scattered around, and on the blackboard there were pictures of bullets. The bullet-making process. Solomon's voice was paper-thin. For the sake of us all, I hope Lazarus is right. Mammon has to be stopped. If his rampage continues, the border between this world and the supernatural will be gone. Mammon's like that asshole in every poker game who cashes out before giving you a chance to win your money back. He's also hard to kill. Lazarus said you might have a plan. I do. Sit down and I'll explain. So what's your plan? It's simple. You shoot him dead. We already tried that. Bastard was back up like nothing happened. Mammon's human form isn't real, you see. It's just an image projected by a malevolent supernatural force. Yes, we could call that a quote demon unquote or quote devil unquote. But he's just a representation. An idea. And that's where I come in. To kill an idea, you need more than lead. What you need are bullets filled with his own power, his unquote make-believe unquote force. If he wants his power to be real in our world, he will have to accept the power of bullets made with that same power. I am I the only one confused here? Asks Bill, who is an idiot. No, I get it. It's simple, really. Despite all of his power, this fucker still has to follow the rules of his own game. And we're going to beat him by bending those rules. I will make bullets for you, made of a unique alloy and equally special gunpowder. Then I'll imbue them with Mammon's own power, thanks to the filled-up siphon you brought me. Then we get to the Hellgate station, board the ghost train one last time, and load all our guns with those. With these bullets, we will have the power to destroy him. To craft enough of them for all of you, I'm gonna need a special alloy called, quote, Auranium, unquote. It's very rare, developed only by Brass & Co. We'll also need gunpowder with Auranium dust. Again, only Brass has this type of armament. Brass & Co, I mean. Then I'll be ready to craft them for you. There used to be a gang stealing the alloy from Brass & Co for a month now. A gang stealing the alloy? They just spent the whole month stealing the alloy. Sure. They took over an unmanned... No? Unnamed ghost town nearby. You can try to make some deal with them, but they do not seem like very reasonable people. I made some research and found that Brass sometimes... Brass and Co, I mean, sometimes moves his state-of-the-art guns through San Argent. Any of such transports is sure to have our gunpowder aboard. I swear, Jen, one more train heist and I'm leaving. Shut up, Flynn, you like them. I don't even like trains. Why do you think I keep robbing them? I like trains. This Brass & Co stuff, we keep, we keep running into their business and ruining it. I don't think it's just a coincidence. 
It is clearly a coincidence because it coincides, but it's not just that, is it? No, it is not. You see, I used to work with Victor Brass before he became the industrial mogul he is today. We were both fascinated by the supernatural. I happened to become famous years ago for saving a lot of people. That's when he approached me. Together we started the company. We were supposed to help people turn things supernatural into weapons to fight the supernatural. But we both went astray in our ambitions. He became mad with greed, dangerously mad, fascinated by the ghost train, capital G, capital T. He invented Auranium, or the, the alloy that we were talking about. A metal imbued with demonic power. Trust me, this time without quotes. Trust me if I say that this cannot end well. As for me, well, that's a long story. Brass and Co. operates from his headquarters in Texas, and I'm afraid that once we have dealt with Mammon, we might have to deal with Victor Brass himself as well, especially since you have already pissed them off. Sounds about right. He must be old. It's because you were colleagues, so it should be fine. What about you? Where did you come from? And why do I have a feeling you're not entirely on our side? Oh, it's simple. I'm super rich, so of course I'm not entirely on your side. Are you an idiot? You are an idiot, aren't you? Okay. Anyway, I'm on my own side. On the side of balance. The side of fixing my own mistakes. Some time ago, I started researching the supernatural phenomena that started happening all over the hard west. At first, I managed to do some good. But then I got so invested in the occult that I lost myself for some time. I became this cult leader and, well, suffice it to say, I paid what I owed. What do you mean? I died. It was Mammon's presence that brought me back. Lazarus found me and we both want to stop him once and for all. Turns out dead men do tell tales. Shut up, Bill. It's not funny. That's... Uh... Anyway, we have missions. The Devil's Den. We delved into the caves, welcoming the cool shade. But the constant howling of the desert wind started getting on our nerves. It was on the nerves, not on their morale or... No, just the nerves. They just started getting jittery and stuff. Sometimes it sounded like some wild animal. Other times, like a screaming, tortured woman. Stop. I see something there. Let's check it out, but carefully. In an open... Mo this is the wrong voice. <laughs> In an open cave flooded by sunlight, we saw an emaciated figure crouching over a tiny fireplace. He looked so weak, so pathetic, not at all the bloodthirsty murderer we expected. Uh, because of Abraham Burns, that's who we're here to deal with. Yeah, He saw us and laughed, then roared and jumped back on all fours. He turned his head sideways, and a shrill voice squeezed out of his windpipe. So far, so normal. Here comes! The one with no shadow! Are you here to end this vessel? Are you here to free us? It's a bad day when I'm not the creepiest thing around. A shrill voice. What am I misunderstanding from Shrill here? Why is he creepy? Either way, I'm gonna approach Abraham Burns. Though Abraham Burns looked like one of the maddened denizens of hell depicted in the church paintings, he didn't attack. I guess he was too weak and hungry to threaten us. You're Abraham, right? Abraham Burns? Oh yes, yes, Abraham is here, yes. And he burns, oh, he burns. Some evil spirits took over his mind, says Flynn. Talking to him is pointless. We can either try and exorcise him, or just tie him up and bring him to San, to San Argent like that. Poor bastard. So we do have... Oh, minus five. Oh, Cloudish gets hit, uh, injured. Uh, which would be fine, because we don't use her in combat. Instead of losing the rope. Yeah. Uh, Cloudish's exorcism is probably better. Yes, I can feel him struggle. There is a strong spirit inside him. Let me try and lure it out. We waited patiently as Clalish sang strange songs and burned... I wonder how she pauses between one song and the other. Is it like, you know, does she blend into another song? It's like a medley or does she like finish it? Wait, it's a little bit of silence and then continues with a new one, like new, new tempo, new key and all that. And burned dry leaves of some plants. 
But it was clear whatever was happening, the spirit didn't like it at all. Uh, possibly also um, Abram didn't like it at all, but we're, we're good with that. Suddenly, a shadowy figure ripped out of Abram's mouth and nostrils, and before any of us could react, swiped its clawed hand at Klaalish, cutting her neck! Exclamation mark. She hissed, and then her voice changed. She did? Oh, because she was singing. I never wanted this. You forced my hand. Now you will bear the consequences. With a horrid scream, the spirit dissipated, taking with it what remained of Abram's life force. We could only watch as he withered even more and died. His last breath sounded a little like, quote, thank you, unquote, but maybe I was just hearing things, namely the things that uh, his breath was saying. That's what I was hearing. At least we can take the corpse to the sheriff and still get our reward. Was it a dead or alive kind of thing? Didn't we ride this way before? I don't remember. Let's find out. Howdy. Heard you were looking for this man, Abram Burns? The sheriff glanced at the shriveled corpse and nearly puked. He paid us our share and, covering his mouth with a hand, ordered his deputies to quickly bury the body. I, uh... That way. I don't know if that was the best solution for that, but, uh, we're good. Let's go to the ghost town. Because we want the alloy. The bandits looked at each other, and some other guy called their boss. But not bandits, I assume. Uh, but the moment he saw me, the boss did, uh, I knew there would be no deal at all. Shit, I know him. I screwed him once in the past. In just the unspecified past. And by that, it, which is fair enough, because you're not going to tell me, like, ten years ago or something. Although, you probably would. And by that, I mean I screwed someone he knew, namely his wife. I don't think he's happy to see me. I knew I would make you pay someday, Carter. Get them. Adultery, Jin. Though I guess I could expect that from you. I know, I know. Shut your trap. We have no choice. Let's get to it then. Yeah, we have no choice. And that is, the, the, as intended, is what it is. Yeah, that's good enough. Let's look at our new weapons here. Because... Well, instead of the gut shaker, we can use this. And instead of the Beecher's carbine, we can use this. How tremendously powerful is it going to be? My guess is very, very tremendously powerful. Pretty good, pretty good. Let's go. The mission is the town that time forgot. It's a lot of T's. Well, that was to be expected. But we still need that fucking stuff. So go after him, damn it. Yeah, won't be easy now for sure. Kill him! Kill him all! Get to it, you lousy bastards! What a lovely place. And I still want to take a peek inside this house. Shit. It's going to be easy peasy, don't worry about it. And Oldman Bill is injured, which is even better. Even better. Now. How do I want to proceed? Do I? This shotgun does 8 damage once she starts dishing out proper damage. That is really powerful. She's already at 13 damage, it's just absurd. She's going for 14. I think I should start with the uh, Laughing Deer. And for example, shouting at these people. Are you mad? Look at that. This guy's going to get disabled. Is that what that is? Dazed. Yeah. That's pretty good. Uh, we're going to go with that. Your blood is mine. <laughs> you go get him, there. Because now 
that's good. That's that's what that is. And here we have the right weapon selected. Yeah, here we need two criticals, which can happen. Uh, didn't he get? I don't know. He didn't get the extra kill chance. Hmm. I don't know what I want to do here. Is this guy dazed? This guy's dazed. Okay, that's that's good news. Uh, and then this guy is probably going to help us with things. Namely Flynn. Although, I could just go with Oldman Bill. Here. And do the, the shouty shout. Yeah, that, that's looking like a good plan. Let's see how much damage it does. Seven damage. That is That is looking like a very good plan. Hmm. Seven damage is a lot of damage. But it does mean Old Man Bill is going to be stuck at the front. Can I live with that? Yes. Yes, I can live with that. Um, it's going to be stuck because he's not going to kill anybody here. Pain is just a concept. So. Um, Jin. Jin can move up using that. Although at this stage, I would think Laughing Deer should be the one to do that. Get a kill here, get a kill down there. And just generally do things. That's looking good. And the reason why I killed this guy was mostly because nobody else was going to be able to reliably kill that guy. So uh, we have a kill here as well. With a critical. And we have a kill here as well. The more kills we can get for Laughing Deer, the better. Because um, I do believe... He was supposed to have Slayer. Does he not have that thing that gives him... Yeah, Natural Predator. Whenever Laughing Deer kills someone, he gets plus one bullseye chance until the end of the mission. Is this thing, like, special and not add bullseye? No, no, no. It is the bullseye. This is not bullseye. That's just luck. Yeah, his, bull his uh, bullseye chance is going up 14% already. So that's pretty good. Uh, now, I need that. And I will take advantage of that. We're just going to be a little bit slow. Which is fair enough. And then I get two hits here, which is pretty good. Uh, and look at that. Everybody's dead. It's beautiful. So I'll just send him up there. And then we're going to do... We're going to need to do 10 damage. Which is... Feasible. It's not super easy, but it is feasible. The reason why it's not super easy is because... Oh, this thing has range for days. Oh, I want to see how that works. Leave it to me. 100%? 88%. And it's not burning. Yep, that is very nice. Very, very nice. Because now we do this. You crit? No, you don't. Will do. You can't crit. It's only 9%. Come on. Yeah. Because I need the kills here to be him, laughing deers. Uh, and with a critical here, 16%. That's looking good. Die. And we did land a critical, so that is a kill. Wow. Die. I haven't even looked at the side objectives. Look for clues about Jin's quote special grave unquote location and finish off the bandit leader with a stick of dynamite. It's a good thing we brought some of that. Although we could have seen it, as I have found out. Uh, we could have seen that in um, before we started the mission. So there's somebody in here. Can I tell where they are? I don't think I can. Because I saw them in the mission. 
Yeah, I could just go. Oh, I'll I'll just go, cause why not? All right. So it says I should look there. Fine. That's what I came for anyway. That's a good position for Laughing Deer to be in, considering um, everything. Just considering everything. Oh, uh, I will send you here. Do we? Oh, it's three. Maybe I shouldn't have sent him there. Yeah, I shouldn't have. No, nope, uh, it wouldn't have made a difference. I don't think. We're going to have to come up with a, a different strategy because we can't rely on criticals. It shouldn't be a problem. Oldman Bill can always do... Actually, Oldman Bill can't do much. What's the play? I could teleport with Flynn. Well, I can't actually. I was thinking of, of uh, getting Carter up there. Smart. Don't call me a witch. Does this cause bleeding? No, it's only to enemies. See me shuffle. Yes. So Carter now will do the Shadow Barrage. Either here, but actually I want it up here. And I don't know if that's going to hit many people. It's going to kill two people. So that's a bad time. So I need to go up there and take cover. At this moment, it doesn't actually matter. All I need to do is just some damage. Showtime. That was not a kill. Okay. There's somebody down there. Yeah, we can handle that. Oh, we need to go around for that. Okay. Right. And that's 10. It's going pretty good. Uh, and there's another place to go to? Oh, yeah. Rove the quote special grave, unquote. Of course. Uh... I mean, there's nobody else around here. So I can just disable this brawler. Done and done. I am guided. Yeah, and uh, heal. And then Oldman Bill can't do much. Can't take cover. I mean, he can, he can let, uh, shoot over there, but uh, he's the last one here. So I'm just going to head down. That's funny. I like that. There's a lot of people. That's really dangerous. Did he die? Yes, he did. Okay, can't do that. So perhaps I should try... Something different. Oh, it doesn't matter. There's three action points there. We're still going to rely on Laughing Deer. Three, three. Yeah, those three action points are... Our problem. Now, here's what I'm thinking. Yeah, so... This might make... Make a difference here. It does not. It's a little bit closer, but it just doesn't. Um, so let's try... Uh, Oldman Bill. Instead of... Yeah, he's just slow, so he needs help. 
instead of Carter. Looking for trouble? Because I can do this. Oh, actually, I didn't check if there's visual. Don't call me a witch. There is not. No way. Ooh, actually, I can't do what I was gonna do. I can just use dynamite, though. Or in this particular case, a duck foot would work wonders here. Yeah. I still think Looking that this is a trouble? good strategy, but it's just for a different reason. So, what we need to do is we need to be in a place where she sees Oldman Bill. Looking kind of tricky. Don't call me a witch. Yeah, and now Oldman Bill. Good luck. Can hopefully, but likely not. Yeah. Do some yeah. damage. Yeah. Yeah. That sucks. I'll have to do this. Just slow. Would Carter be a better bet? What's the play? Oh yeah, Carter would be a much better bet because we can do the shadow barrage. Oh yeah, let's do it. And also the advantage of Carter just being a lot easier Don't to spot. Me a witch. See me shuffle. And he can deal, still take cover, uh, and he doesn't get a kill. Okay. So, full cover here. Kill. Or not kill, but you know. This allows me to just go down there. Kill them both. And go up there. I want to be as close as I can. There. Right. Kill everybody up here. Done and done. Wow. Pain is just a cunt. Ah. And this still has the advantage of. Yeah, this guy's only melee, so it should be fine. This still has the advantage of uh, getting Laughing Deer just to get all the kills. 24% critical chance is nothing to scoff at. And make no mistake, we scoff at things. And uh, we don't scoff at that. Peace, it's not sneeze, ass. although it is sneeze as is well. You can say sneeze. You? you can also say sneer. Sneeze is just a really weird thing. And uh, it's just the der derivation of sneer because sneer is weird. Nobody says sneer. Apart from when they're saying nothing to sneer at. Do you know what I mean? Which they say sneeze. 